All right, kids, stand back. Let's take the pizza out of the oven and careful, it's hot. Do you know why we cut our pizzas like this for generations? No. Because it's so tasty, we want everyone to savor each piece. And that's why we cut them in perfect bite-sized squares. That's just our size. Thanks, Papa. Sammy's Pizza. Family, friends, traditions. Hello and welcome to the Hair Review Monday Sports Update. I'm your host, Blake Mortensen. The Grand Rapids Bo 60 Legion baseball team competed at the Gopher Classic in St. Michael over the weekend, playing in five games. In game one, it was a 2 0 victory for Bo 60 over Harrisburg, South Dakota. The winning pitcher was Dominic Broberg, who went seven innings and allowed no runs on six hits and two base on balls. Ben Keske knocked a triple and scored a run offensively. In game two, it was another close game as Grand Rapids fell to St. Michael 4 3. Post 60 was held to only three hits with Broberg, Easton Sostrand, and Caleb Gunderson getting them. On Saturday, Grand Rapids lost in another one run game to Excelsior 2 1. Sostrand pitched a gem of a game going all seven innings. The other two games for Post 60 came versus Elkhorn, Nebraska, and Blaine Ham Lake, but results have not been posted yet. The Minnesota Twins dropped another road series to the Texas Rangers in Arlington over the weekend. The Twins lost the first two games of the series as they struggled to hold leads. But on Sunday, Minnesota salvaged a victory 6-5 as Dylan Bundy picked up his fifth win of the season. He went five innings and allowed four runs on six hits. Byron Buxton started the game for the Twins offense with a solo blast, while the team also got production from catcher Ryan Jeffers who knocked in two runs. Minnesota is eight games over 500 at 48 and 40, and will take on the Milwaukee Brewers and Chicago White Sox at home this week after an off day on Monday. Luis Arise and Byron Buxton were named as first time All-Stars and are heading to Los Angeles. The All-Star game will take place next Tuesday at seven o'clock on Fox with the home run derby the night before on ESPN. The NHL draft took place on Thursday and Friday of last week at the Bell Center in Montreal. In rounds two through seven, Minnesota selected included Damon Gardner of Warroad going to Vancouver in round four with scouts and commit Cruz Lucius to the Hurricanes. Prior Lakes Alex Bump to Philadelphia in round five. Zam Plant of Hermitown to Pittsburgh at 150th overall. Barrett Hall of Gentry Academy to Seattle in the sixth round. And Jared Wright of St. Thomas Academy to the LA Kings. And finally, the Minnesota Wild have re signed a pair of players to multi year deals. Defenseman Jacob Middleton agreed to a three year extension, while Marc Andre Fleury will be sticking around for two more years and make $3.5 million annually. For the Grand Rapids Hair Review Monday Sports Update, I'm Blake Mortensen. Hello, I'm Emily Carlson with your Grand Rapids Herald Review News Brief. Today we will have a rundown of the weekend news and a few things to expect this coming week. An Effie man was found safe after spending the night in the woods, according to the Itasca County Sheriff's Department. According to the Sheriff's Office, 79-year-old Lauren DeShaw went for a walk on the afternoon of Tuesday, July 5th. His wife called authorities Wednesday afternoon when he didn't come home. Deputies searched outbuildings, local businesses, and checked with local neighbors. Air support was requested from the Minnesota State Patrol. Deshaw was found walking out of the woods shortly after 8 p.m. Wednesday, and the air support was canceled. Deshaw was taken to the Big Fork Valley Hospital. Dale H. Kaiser announced his candidacy for the office of Itasca County Sheriff. A resident of Itasca County for the past 43 years, Kaiser was hired in 1981 to be a part-time reserve deputy sheriff for the Itasca County Sheriff's Department. He has been a member of the Itasca County Sheriff's Department for the past 41 years, except two years between 2009 and 2012. Kaiser currently serves as the chaplain for the department's employees, and he is also a reserve full-time licensed peace officer. 
Kaiser says his main focus will be to work together with other agencies with unity, including all first responders and citizens. Bovee resident and Greenway graduate Linnea Johnson announced her candidacy for Itasca County Commissioner of District 5. Johnson received her master's degree in occupational therapy at the College of St. Scholastica in 1998. She is married to her husband, Brian, and together they have three children, Haley, Tyler, and Jacob. She has served as the school board clerk for Greenway ISD 316 and has served on numerous committees, helped with and led local organizations, participated in the Blandon leadership training, and completed many volunteer hours. Looking for something fun for your child to round out their summer? The Itasca Orchestra and Strings Program, along with their ensemble in residence, the Third Coast Chamber Collective, are offering a youth music camp to students ages 8 to 16. Camp will include exploration and instruction where students will take part in an instrument petting zoo, learn string instrument technique, develop teamwork and performance skills, and gain confidence in realized potential. The Youth Music Camp is August 7th through 13th. Camp will start with a check-in late afternoon Sunday, August 7th with a meet and greet. Camp will continue Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. with free lunches every day. Saturday will showcase an evening performance where students will show off their hard work. Registration can be found on getlearning.org. Deadline is July 20th. The Grand Rapids Area Community Foundation's annual grant cycle will open July 15th and close on August 15th. Each year, the Grand Rapids Area Community Foundation provides grants to nonprofit groups and organizations that serve the people of the Greater Itasca Area. The Greater Itasca Area includes Itasca County, plus Hill City, Reamer, Black Duck, and North Home. The Community Foundation has approximately $100,000 available for granting this year. Please submit your application online on the grants page found on the website www.gracf.org. The application is user-friendly and simple to complete. The 9th Annual Veterans Ride for the Homeless will be held Sunday, July 24th. The American Legion Riders Chapter 1 Deer River is the host and will lead this ride through northern Itasca County. The Deer River Vets Club is a strong supporter of this event and will be the starting location. Additional sponsors are Lawrence Lake Liquors in Bovee and Super One Stores in Grand Rapids. All motorcycle enthusiasts are welcome and encouraged to participate in this event. This ride is to raise awareness and educate the public about the growing homeless population in Itasca County and is a fundraising event to benefit Grace House of Itasca County, the only homeless shelter in our county. Registration for this motorcycle ride starts at 11 a.m. at the Deer River Vets Club with the ride to start at noon. The $20 entry fee will be used to support Grace House operations in fulfilling their mission to provide safe, temporary shelter to individuals and families who are experiencing homelessness and connect them to community resources. The ride will end approximately at 4 p.m. at Lawrence Lake Liquor on Scenic Highway 7 in Bovee with a light meal and conversation with riders and Grace House staff. For more information, please call Grace House at 326-2790 or email info at gracehousemn.org or contact Doug Berkwin, Ride Coordinator, at 360-2498. And lastly, Citywide Sidewalk Sales will be taking place this Wednesday, July 13th through Saturday, July 16th. Check out the Wednesday, July 13th edition of the Herald Review and Manny Shopper for participating stores. Thank you for listening to the Grand Rapids Herald Review News Brief. Have a great day.